and she saw two big hairy feet right in front of her face. Today's Night Terrors comes to us from Oregon. This viewer says that she and her mother were taking her young kids camping. However, the place that they wanted to go was snowed in and the road was closed. And so they had to go to another area. And on the way to that area, they actually found the perfect camping spot. So they set up camp and they roasted some hot dogs and some marshmallows. They were roasting the hot dogs and marshmallows, and the kids wanted more marshmallows, and she said that they could have that for breakfast. They also met another camper there that referred to himself as the damn trapper. <laughs> they talked to him for a while and hung around the campfire before he finally departed. Before they went to bed, they set up a type of fire where you put the log in the fire and leave part of it sticking out so that you can push it in as it burns down and keep the fire up all night. As they all went into their tent, they were she was on the side where the log was so that she could move it in. She woke up because she felt the log being moved. And so she kind of looked up towards the log and out of the flap of the tent, and she saw two big hairy feet right in front of her face. Now she says that when she looked up at the creature, she passed out. Cold. <laughs> so later on, she woke up, and the creature was gone, and she immediately looked around for her mother and found that she too was gone. She was immediately panicked. She sat up and started calling for her mother, her mother apparently had gotten up to use the restroom. Now, her mother had gotten up to go use the restroom at the outhouse, which they could see from their camp. So she told her, wait, and I will go with you since we can see it from our camp. So she goes over to her mother and she also tells her what happened and why she wants to go with her. So they're about halfway to the outhouse when they feel gravel hitting the back of their legs and they hear stomping so loud that they can actually feel it in the ground. They hurried back to camp and the mom hid behind the bush and went pee because she really had to go at this point. Scared for her kids, she gathered them up and she put them in the car and she told them to stay down. When her mother was done using the restroom in the bushes, she too got in the car with all the kids and the mom. Now, the mom and the daughter looked out of the window to see what was going on and they could see something. There was a creature there. The creature came out of the woods and started nosing around the picnic area. She said, without a doubt, it was a Bigfoot. It was covered in fur. It was definitely a humanoid figure and it was getting into the food on the picnic table. Now, during all of this, the mother was crying and praying, and the daughter was terrified that the mother was going to have a heart attack. So during all of this, this lasted until dawn. Now, before all of this happened, when they were in the campsite during the day, there were deer all around. But close to dark, the deer left the area, nowhere to be found. And then this happened. Now, closer to dawn, the creature left and they were finally brave enough to get out of the car and go to the fire to warm up. So they're warming up by the fire and they decide the kids really wanted those marshmallows for breakfast and they go to the table and find that not only was their food eaten, the marshmallows were eaten too and the kids were really bummed. While they're standing there warming up, the trapper that they had met the night before, he comes over to check on them and they told him what happened and he said that yes, in this area, there had been Bigfoot activity for years. Now, when she got home, she told her dad what had happened, and he confirmed that he had had an incident with a Bigfoot in that same area that had made him a believer as well. 
So what do you think it was? Do you think it was a Bigfoot? I didn't know that Bigfoot liked marshmallows, but who doesn't love good s'mores? All right, that's all I have for you this time. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Be safe, be kind, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Night Terrors. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button and drop a comment below. And don't forget to click the link in the description to send in your encounter story to be featured on an episode of Night Terrors. Also, you can see what else is going on in the Nightcaller's world. Thank you, everybody.